monday.com demo for project management hey guys today i'm going to be showing you how you can use monday.com to manage your projects and the different features that are available on this project management software and i'm also going to be showing you how it stacks up to the rest of its competitors so let's get started first off we are on the home page of monday.com and you can see over here that their tagline is the project management software that will actually work for your team so you can select on what kind of team you are managing and you can get started and uh, by selecting these as well or i'm just going to leave it blank and i'm just going to click on get started and from here, you're just going to put in your personal details, so your email and your password, and you're going to verify your email account, and then your workspace will be created. So once you do that, you're going to move into your first workspace. Now, before I show you guys the workspace on monday.com, I'm actually going to show you guys the price plans available on monday.com. So previously monday.com did not have any free version but now they do provide a free version which only two people can use so you can only have two members in your free version of monday.com and if you want any more members you're gonna have to use one of their paid programs so they start at eight dollars a seat or a member per month and then they go up to $16 per member per month and then you can also have an enterprise version. Now for the free version they're going to provide you with unlimited boards, unlimited docs, 200 templates, uh, 20 column types, two team members and a iOS and Android app to use your project management software on as well so they're pretty good in terms of features especially if you're a individual and not a team so that's something to keep in mind that the free version is only helpful if you're a singular person in any other situation you're gonna have to upgrade to their premium version now moving on to the workspace on monday.com so you can see this is the basic workspace on monday.com so i'm just gonna click on add workspace and i'm gonna name it demo workspace you can name it whatever you want so for ease to show you guys i'm going to display some of the templates that you can create so now in your workspace you have your boards members and permissions and as you're setting up your account you can add more as you go now clicking on these three dots over here you can rename your workspace you can delete the workspace as well so that's gonna delete your workspace and you can delete it and then uh, undo delete that you did but you have to be quick about it and once you have deleted a workspace you can't really create it again or get the data present in your workspace again so that's something to be aware of while as on ClickUp they do allow you a 15 day recycle for your deleted workspace now if we click on add new workspace so let's just create this default front and we're going to click on add board so once you click on add board you can see all of the different templates that are available on monday.com and on the left side you can see the different uh, categories that are available for your templates so if you're working in construction real estate whatever you're working on they do have very 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 high end customizable templates which i really like and in terms of uh, getting started it does reduce the general time that you're going to require to get started on Monday if you use a, a template or you can even start from scratch but that is totally up to you I am going to select a template so let's say I am going to make a educational um, workspace and I'm making a student organ or managing a student life so we're just going to use this template and it's going to take a few seconds to load the template because it imports all of the data within the template as well and you can delete all of the data and it does allow you bulk editing so you don't have to worry about that you can delete that easily once you're getting started with with your own data on monday.com now you can see i have loaded my template over here and you can rename your template so i can change it to ap math class like this and you can just press on enter and that is going to make your um, name change and then you can also change the description about your workspace as well so you can add whatever kind of basic deets that you want everyone to know once they enter the workspace now on the top you can invite members into this workspace 
and then from here you can also monitor the activity and add to the board from these three dots over here you can view all the board members or add more you can also monitor board activity then you have your integration center automation center apps marketplace you have your board permissions so you can limit the permission for a certain person or a certain group to lesser permission so they can only view content or edit content or they can only edit content that is assigned to them so they can only uh, change something if it was assigned to them um, so they don't disrupt any other students work as well and that is a very good option so like this and you're just going to click on save and that is going to change the permissions that are allowed to other members on your board then you have your different um, board settings as well. You can change the board type so you can make it a shareable or a private board. A shareable board is going to be a public board that anyone can get access to via a link. So if anyone has the link, they can access this board. And a private board is going to be an invite only board. So only people you have invited can enter your uh, workspace. Now, then you can also export all of your data or the board that you have created into excel you can also manage duplicates duplicate the board print your board and use this in full screen now over here you can see you have your different tasks that are within the different lists now if you were to create a new task you're just going to click on new task and that is going to form a new task within the first top list if you want to create a new task at the bottom list over here you're just going to click at the add button at the bottom and you can add your uh, task from to the second list over here so let's just say we're gonna add ap english like this and then you have your task created now next up you have your different classmates you can name it or assigned so you can rename these columns to assigned and then you can assign them to different students within your class or different people within your company who are working on this project. Another good thing is that you can click on these and you can leave little notes for people as well. It says start a conversation, but this is really basically a comment section for the task. So if this is finance 101 and you're a teacher, you can leave some comments like make sure to revise finance ch225 like this or whatever you might want to add and then you can update that and then all of your students can view and make sure to read this uh, note that you have left for all of them now over here you have your due date or your different completion level of the task so over here it has been set to days and you can edit the label so you can add different dates as well so let's just say you want to say this is ongoing maybe and then you can also add completed you can add pending you can add ap only and then you can have extra curricular like so and then you can even create new labels you can change the color of each label according to you or according to your personal preference or your class preference so like so so if history 101 is ongoing you can add that if the next semester hasn't started you're just going to add that to pending and then you have a good organization of when tasks are going to happen now we have a start time and time room and credits added as well and if we drag our bottom cursor like this we have our exams and quizzes final grades professor and now if you can drag your tool to the right you can click on one of these plus icons and add another column so let's say maybe these columns are unimportant so we're not monitoring exams and quizzes we don't care about that we don't need end times you're just going to click on this sort and then you're going to click and clear so if you clear it it's going to clear but if you do a right click you can click on delete column and that is going to be deleted like so so you can delete and add whatever you want and if you click on this plus you can add any kind of column that you like so maybe you have a sub items you have files you want to add if you want to add some dates you can add that as well people status timelines numbers or tags tags are very helpful and are very underrated in my opinion so you can add tags as well and then you can create different tags for example urgent 
or you can add more tags like non-important you can add important like so so if finance 101 is a important lecture we're just going to click on tags and then we're going to add the important tag to this and then you can view everything that is important under the important tag so if you just click on important over here search by that you're going to get the important tags click on tags and you can see all of the important stuff is going to be available over here so you don't have to search for anything uh, again and again if you're revising or you're working in a time crunch and you need to find things quickly this is going to be a very good help now in terms of navigating within your workspaces if you have multiple workspaces you can see on the left over here you can navigate within them as well so you can keep your management or your work separate from your school or university work or if you are doing multiple jobs at once you can create different workspaces for each job and that's going to help you keep everything separated yet organized now in terms of views you can view them uh, view all of these in very different forms but the limitation to those views is that you can only add views if you are a premium member of monday.com if you're using the free version you're only going to get this kind of view and you're going to get a timeline view like this so a view on a calendar basically you're going to get only these two views you're not going to be able to add mind maps or uh, any other kind of boards like this dashboard if you want to create that so you can visualize your data let's say we want to create a workload widget like so and we want to add a battery widget like so and you can monitor the general workload on this dashboard and then we also get calendar views we get gantt views we get chart views we get workload timeline table kanban form files cards and more on the premium version of monday.com now on the top you also have your integrations so if you click on that you have many integrations available especially the basic ones like if we go back so all of the basic integrations like typeform mailchimp zendesk gmail asana google drive zoom microsoft teams linkedin uh, gitlab if you're running a um, e-commerce store so you're going to also have shopify you're going to have equid any of the popular ones you're going to be able to find them on the integration center over here and they're also categorized on the left via their category over here and you can only use integrations if you're a paying member as well on monday.com and then you have automations so automations is something when a task is going to move uh, when a task is automated and maybe if for example you're a teacher and you need to move all the tasks that are completed to a review section so you can create a custom automation so when this happens when status changes then or you can go back to automations i'm gonna create a custom automation so every time the status and we're gonna search for a column which is completed so i don't have a completed column i'm gonna create that first to make my automation make a bit more sense for you guys i'm gonna create a new column done like so now i'm going to go back into automations and create a custom automation when the status um, when completed changes to something to stuck then notify i'm going to delete this then notify me so if a student is stuck on something then uh, they are going to notify you the teacher like so and you can create any automation that you like according to your company needs and i don't know why this isn't deleting uh, i have no clue why this is happening uh, i think it's just because of lag usually this does not happen but yeah this is how you create a automation for your workspace and it's a useful feature but again it is only available if you are using the premium version of monday.com if you're using any of the free 
version there's only one free version so if you're using the free version you're not going to be able to create any kind of automations whatsoever so you can even create one or two automations and automations are a very useful feature nowadays especially with uh, larger groups so if you're working in a larger group setting of more than 50 people it's very essential that uh, your tasks are automated and people are notified and uh, everything happens on due time if automations are working efficiently and managing your workflow. Now, if you take a look at the total left, you have your workspaces. So that this is basically for your own account. And then you have your notifications. These are notifications for you and your account. So you have unread all and notification places where you were mentioned and things that were assigned to you. Then you have your inbox. So any updates from all of your boards are going to be present over here. Then you have a my work section and this was uh, not present in the previous versions of monday.com but now it is uh, present. So this is something that's going to really help you start off your day. If you wake up in the morning and just take a look at the my work section, you're going to know where to start on your work and what to get done in your mornings and start building up to that. So next up, you also have your apps. You have your apps marketplace. So in terms of integrated apps, you can add more as well. Then you have invite members. So you can invite new members to your workspace and you can invite them as a viewer and that's going to help you if you're working with some clients or managers that are not involved in the work but they want to monitor the work they can be added as a read only member below that you have your search everything you have your help and then you have your custom uh, account settings now in your account settings you have your own profile you have your import data developers recycle bin archives admin teams a logout then you can also change your theme and you can have a night mode a dark mode and a light mode this is what the dark mode looks like and this is what the night mode looks like so the dark mode is like a really dark blue and the night mode is a black then you have your what's new and a mobile app link as well and over here you can see all of your personal profile details where you can change and add your personal stuff as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video